Hi guys, it's me Anika and I think everyone knows that I just turned 46 and I am so grateful. I am beyond grateful because God has given me another chance, another year to be here and with my family, with my friends and the people who love and support and believe in me are here so just like you guys thank you so much for your love and support so now that i am officially 46 i want to share to you guys my personal insight lesson that i learned during this pandemic this year i am ready to face another challenge in life i have another year so it's another blessing it's another wisdom another knowledge and strength to face new challenges so today i'm going to share to you my personal insight that i learned this pandemic situation is that very important for me to have a closer relationship to God so this pandemic I learned to prioritize my relationship to God because I do believe no matter what kind of situation that we are facing today if I have God I know that I will be protected God is in control so this thing will pass just keep your faith to him and do what is right this situation parang ito yung tinatawag tayo ng Diyos na lumapit sa kanya he just want us to reach him and talk to him just like this God will end this kind of situation this pandemic because God is so good number two guys is family matters so this situation that we are facing now family is very important so I think we should learn how to connect to our loved ones now especially our loved ones who is in the Philippines or kung saan mang lugar sila so for me it's time to reach out kasi we never know what's gonna happen to us so if we connect them and ask them kung kumusta sila are they okay I think yung pagtatanong natin sa kanila so makakatulong to sa kanila to ease the pain kung ano man yung situation nila during this pandemic so learn how to forgive learn how to reach out to your family and loved ones maybe you did a mistake to them so this is the right time to correct this is the right time to forgive and also ask them kung kumusta sila so for me family matters we need our family to have strength to fight this um, pandemic so let them see na kung paano ko sila kamahal and how I I am so worried but if you let them see kung gaano sila importante sa inyo they will have the strength to fight this kind of situation at the end of the day guys family pa din ang lalapitan natin so very important sa akin ang ating pamilya. So, have to connect to them no matter what. Um, next is health and wellness. We should love ourselves. We should protect our body. Kasi, gaya ng sinasabi nila, mahirap magkasakit. Very true. And, yung sakit na lalabanan natin ay hindi basta-basta. So, we need to protect ourselves. We need to protect our body. 
we need to be healthy because it's keeping our body healthy it's like you're just protecting your loved ones pinoprotektahan mo yung sarili mo it's because for your family so now i learned to take care of myself i walk once in a while i run to keep my body healthy i eat healthy foods and also um i do this um and also i follow all the protocols which is when i go out i use my mask i do social distancing and also I sanitize my home. Um, I need to protect my family. So when you're healthy, not only physically, but also inside, it just means that you are willing to do everything, not only for your family, not only for your health, but for the world. Natutunan ko na maging aware to be healthy, to protect my well-being and also my health so next guys is i learn how to appreciate little things in reality guys we know that we forget those little things but now i learn how to appreciate and recognize those little things not everyone has the opportunity to help you bigger So, kung merong tutulong sa'yo na maliit lang, learn how to appreciate it. Learn how to see those effort na ginawa nila. So, ngayon guys, I'm telling you this because I really now appreciate those things. For just, for example, if someone call you in your phone and ask you if you're okay, now, I appreciate it. Because said before, it's just like asking for something or like that. But now, those effort na ginawa niya na tumawag sa akin and ask me if I'm okay, I really appreciate those efforts. Small things is really important. Everyone should learn that too and appreciate people, appreciate those small things na kaya nilang itulong sa inyo. We never know kung ano yung mayayari sa atin. Even just saying, I love you to your husband and to your family, to your kids, those small words can change and there's a big impact sa buhay natin. So, God has opened my heart and know and learn how to appreciate those. And lastly, guys, having time to sit here and doing like this talking to you guys and thinking how you've been blessed despite of the situation that we are facing today i learned how to think and value those um challenges that i faced last year or even today that everything will pass through and by the our situation I know that we will overcome this and I hope you guys learned something here today in my short and quick video so guys um, thank you again for your support and again you can just click the subscribe button if you love this kind of video and yeah if you love this you can subscribe and now I'm gonna share to you guys a short footage of my birthday celebration with my husband and I am really blessed having my partner because I do believe my husband is a great blessing from our God.